Hi everyone! In this week's poll, you all voted for a closet staples video, and that's what I'll be doing today. I will be speaking about my closet staples, aka things that end up in the laundry weekly or bi-weekly. So it means that they never sit in my closet. I'll be linking anything that's available. And if it's not available, I'll be linking items that are similar. I highly recommend watching this video if you're working on finding your style or don't know where to start. There'll be some great options on this list, I promise you. Let's get started. The first item are these vintage high-waisted bongo shorts that I've had for... I don't know, six, seven years now. Every time I post about these online, I get tons of questions like, where'd you get them? And unfortunately they are thrifted, but I'm sure you guys can find these on Depop, Poshmark or something. I'll show a close up of the back of the shorts. So you guys can screenshot if you want them. And the tag looks like this. Let's just hope that focuses. Anyway, these are a closet staple of mine. I literally wear them once a week at least during the winter, spring, summer, doesn't matter. During the winter, I prefer to wear them with tights. And in the summer, I just wear them as is. They're so versatile. I like tucking in tops into this, sweaters, cardigans. I also like just layering a baggy t-shirt over top and having these stick out on the bottom. They are perfect. I will never let these go. Highly recommend if you can find yourself a pair secondhand. The next staple in my closet is a little bit newer. I thrifted these jeans six months ago, I believe, and they are vintage low-rise men's wranglers. <laughs> I had to remind myself. Anyway, they're the perfect like vintage wash, the perfect low waist. I love them. If you know me in real life, you've seen me wear these a couple times a week and I wash them like every other week because you're not supposed to wash jeans every week, okay? Before you call me dirty. I wear them with a belt because they are pretty baggy and can fall off my waist and expose my booty and I don't want that. I'll show references of how I like to wear them. I'll do a little show and tell for you guys if you're curious. I'm not standing up because I don't want you to see the bottom half of me. <laughs> so glad I found them. These are the pants that started it all for me. What I mean by that is that they restarted my love for mid-rise and low-rise style pants. And oh my god, I will never go back. These are so comfortable. My favorite way of wearing these is with baby tees, oversized sweaters, really with anything. If you follow me on my socials, you probably could have guessed this next item because you've seen it a million times. You're probably sick of these. <laughs> no, you guys love them too because y'all be clicking on the links. You guys ask me, where are these from? All the time, so I know you love them too. They are the high-waisted Urban Outfitters Dickies exclusive pants. They look like this. I wear these a couple times a week in like a million different ways. I'll show some examples as I'm talking about them. These are the perfect pants, especially for my height. I'm 5'5". They hit me at the perfect spot on my ankle. They're super comfy, kind of like that relaxed, baggy sort of look. They also work really great for work. They're like that great mix between casual, but still kind of like business casually, like you can get away with them for work. Please don't be mad, but these have been out of stock on Urban for a couple weeks now, but I'll be linking something similar and hopefully that helps. But anyway, I also love the color. I think it definitely adds a little bit more interest to an outfit. I compare them with like a banty or whatever. And usually if I wore it with like plain black pants, it could look a little bit just like basic or nothing special, you know what I mean? But like the pop of brown really does it for me. It's like the perfect chocolate color. If you can get your hands on these pants, highly recommend. The next item on my list are these cargo pants from Garage. Garage is like a store at the mall. I'm honestly shocked I found these at the mall. I went to the mall with my sister months and months back, maybe like a year ago or two. I despise the mall, so it must have been for something specific. But I saw these and I was like, ooh, let me try them on. Best decision of my life. They're just perfect. They're high-waisted. I want a low-waisted pair, but these are still pretty sick. The length is perfect. I like these little loops here that it has. Oh, it only has one loop. I like that it has a million pockets, the color, the fit, everything. I wear these a ton to work with my Jade and Doc Martens. I like to put a hoodie over these, t-shirts, 
more crop shirts. Honestly, I'm very surprised at the amount of wear that I get out of these. Happy, obviously. My next closet staple are these black high-waisted vintage trousers. I like the little pleats they have in the front. Tag looks like this. You want to look for them on Depop or something. Not much to say about these except that they're extremely versatile. I wear them to work a bunch. I'm pretty sure I've worn them to interviews before. Also just casually as well. I just love the wide leg. They're perfect. I found a perfect dupe for them, which are the Uniqlo high-waisted trousers. I have them in green because I didn't want to go with black since I already had those. I didn't want two of the same thing. These are like almost the exact same fit. A little bit baggier at the bottom, but I really like that look, so it doesn't matter. I've been wearing these a ton as well. If you want something similar, Uniqlo ones are it. I'm pretty sure they have them in black, in green, khaki, I believe. If you're trying to build your wardrobe, you really need a pair of trousers. I feel like they're essential. We're gonna switch it up and just talk about two tops because I don't wanna bore you with all the bottoms. Anyway, this white button down top, thrifted. I can't even begin to talk about how much I wear this. It is Old Navy and it's a size extra small, which I'm surprised about because I'm usually a medium. So I don't know if it's like an oversized cut or something. Wow. I didn't button that right. <laughs> wear this a ton. I like to layer it under shirts. Just wear it as an over top. I like to have the collar just peeking out of a sweater. That looks really good. This is like the easiest thing to thrift too. So highly recommend. If you don't own one of these already, run to the thrift store. Next is this Addicts tee. Literally wear this once a week, twice a week at least. Part of me sometimes regrets cutting it. I did kind of like a sort of shape. I would definitely say that this is number one in my banty rotation. It just works. It looks good with everything. I like wearing it on top of dresses. I like wearing it with an open button down, a button down underneath. But yeah, I don't know. It's just perfect. I like the graphic. I love the fact that I thrifted this at Goodwill like seven years ago now. I wish I could wear it to work, but the graphic is a little too scary. I work with children. I don't want them having nightmares or telling their parents, my therapist was wearing a really scary t-shirt. I don't think that's ethical. The next items are all black skirts. And you may ask yourself, is those are all the same skirts? And I'll argue with you, no. They all have subtle differences and serve different purposes. Starting off with this midi black vintage skirt. Look at this stretchy material. It is the best, especially for bloating or if your weight fluctuates. Drifted this about six months ago. It's become a staple for me. It's from the brand Loft. I love this skirt because it could be worn high-waisted and low-waisted. I like that it works for work as well, especially when it starts to warm up because I certainly cannot be wearing any of these other skirts to work. They're way too short. I like to wear these with the baggy tee. I like to wear them low-waisted with the baby tee. The possibilities are endless. I would argue that this is another item that should be in everyone's closet. The next skirt is this pleated vintage skirt. Score, actually. It's shorts. Can't even begin to count how many times I've worn this since I've thrifted it years and years ago. Brand is Blonde, which is very odd. I've never heard of this brand before, but here you go. You might find it secondhand if you're interested. Perfect fit. Although I will say I want a version of this low-waisted for sure. I just want to be able to have the option and I definitely can't wear this low-waisted. My hips are too wide. It's too tight. So sad. I wish I could. I wear this to death in the summer. I just think it adds such a cute touch to an outfit. The pleats, it kind of balances out my style because sometimes it could be a little masculine. So when I add this, it adds that perfect balance of masculine and feminine that I prefer to have in my outfits. Never getting rid of this one. The next skirt is from Old Navy and you can actually get your hands on this one. I would say it's a dupe for the Girlfriend Collective skirt, but a lot more flattering. My sister bought me the one from Girlfriend Collective and I did not like the way that it made my body look. It bunched up weird around my tummy area. I just didn't feel good in it. What I love about it is the shorts underneath. I feel secure wearing it. The only thing I will say to keep in mind, it is more of like a casual athletic sort of material. I love to wear this in the summer and also in the fall and winter with tights. Highly recommend. Are you tired of the skirts yet? Hopefully not. Hopefully y'all could tell that there's a slight difference to all of these. The next skirt is an actual skirt and not a skirt, so no shorts here. This one is from H&M. It was literally $12, I think. I think it's out of stock now. Sorry, but you might be able to find it online. I just love the A-line fit. I think it's super flattering on my body type. I've worn this a million times. It's the perfect black mini skirt. The final black mini skirt in my rotation is this one from Garage. I guess I like Garage, huh? 
I'll link it if it's still available. What makes this one different is that it's actually low-waisted and it has kind of like a V in the front. That is super flattering. It's also a skirt, and it has a little slit right here in the front. Yes, it is pretty short, but also there's shorts underneath so I don't feel too like exposed wearing it. I will say it runs a little bit big because I have a medium it's still a little big and that's my usual size. Medium to large, honestly. Highly recommend. This is the last skirt, I promise. And it's a Zara skirt that I got like two Christmases ago. It's adorable, it's low-waisted, super cute. Very short, but the shorts are pretty secure in my opinion. They look like this. They add that perfect feminine touch, but kind of like punk rock at the same time to an outfit. It gives me very like Sandy Liang vibes when I wear it. Well, when I pair it with like a dainty top or something like that. But I also like wearing just oversized panties on top, my white button up, a sweater on top. Possibilities are endless. Looks like I love skirts, huh? It's so funny because when I was younger, I was very insecure about wearing short skirts. Guess getting older does equal confidence, which is great. Oh, I also got a bunch of leg tattoos and that made me like my legs more. So if you're insecure about that, maybe get some leg tattoos. Now moving on to outerwear. My most worn jacket is this thrifted Dickies Eisenhower jacket. I have some pins on it, a patch that my sister made me, which I need to sew on. I don't like how it looks with just the pins, but I was lazy and in a hurry. This might be a little boys. I don't know, cause it's a size large and that does not look like a large to me. I know it's in navy too, and I've recently talked about how I'm trying to steer away from navy, but this is the exception. I love this jacket so much. It's like the perfect crop, the perfect baggy. It gives such a cute edge to an outfit. I'll put some examples of how I like to wear it. I'm pretty sure Dickies has a ton of these in different colors. Oh my god, I'm pretty sure they have this in a brown. That's going on my wish list. I'm definitely gonna cop a brown one. The next item is a newer addition to my closet, and that's this Urban Outfitters men's hoodie. Looks like this. I love that it's like a faded black. It looks lived in. Super flattering, cozy, comfy. I wear this daily at home. I wear it a ton out of the house. I got mine in a size small because it's men's, so it kind of fits like a medium. Oh, I also have this in a brown, but I'm showing this one because it's the one that I wear the most. Everyone should have at least two cozy hoodies which brings me to my next one which is this gray hoodie that i've had oh my god probably for like 10 years i don't even know i think i like stole it from my mom or something i don't even know the brand i haven't looked at the tag in like a million years oh it's reebok i don't know why i didn't expect that it's just a basic plain heather gray hoodie I don't have a lot of outfits to show with it because usually when I'm wearing this, it's like on my lazy days, my like whatever, throw on these, some dickies, call it a day. So they don't really make it to the feed because I feel like, I don't know, it's a pretty like boring basic outfit. Although it is realistic and I know some people like that, but I get self-conscious about posting things that are a little bit too basic. That's just me. The next item is this oversized coat that I got from H&M. A couple years ago, maybe like four years ago. It's not wool, which sucks, but also I live in California, so I'm fine. It keeps me warm throughout the winter. It is the perfect, oh, how dare you. It's the perfect length for my height. It hits me like a little bit below the knees. Wear this a ton in the winter. Recently wore it to work. I'll show a little example here. Everyone needs one of these in their closet. Makes you look classy and fashionable, and I highly recommend. I'll probably keep this in my wardrobe forever. The last three closet staples are accessories, starting off with my favorite scrunchy socks. I apologize if they're a little dirty. I need to bleach them. They are clean, I promise. They are from Hue. I'll link these down below. If you've been looking for socks with the perfect amount of scrunch, highly recommend these. Again, wear these a couple times a week. Love them with sheer tights. Such a perfect combo, which brings me to my next staple. These tights are the perfect amount of sheer. I get mine from Amazon, super comfy. Honestly, they don't really get tears or rips. Like I wear them so many times, I've never had a problem. So I don't really feel the need to buy very expensive tights because these just work for me. I just get them in a size large so that they're comfortable. I cannot stand when tights dig into my hips. It's the worst. These don't do that. They're super high-waisted. I just adore when my tattoos peek out of the tights. I think it's such a cute look. So, oh, there it is. I don't know why I'm doing this. Last thing on my list are a bunch of pins. Here's my little pin holder that I'm pretty sure was the top of like a cazuela. I can't think of the word in English right now. These are a closet staple for me. 
Reason being is that they add a little personality to my outfits, especially for work. When I'm feeling a little boring, I just pop on a little button and it makes me happy. I'll link my favorite button makers or pin makers down below. I get mine from Etsy or shows. I get them gifted. I'm pretty sure these two are from the same seller. Like how sick are these? I love how big they are. Recently I got this Snoopy one, listening to music. Literally he's me. A lot of them are also on jackets, cardigans right now, so it's not my full collection. But my most recent favorite pin is this one that my sibling got me from eBay for Christmas. Do, 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 do. Hello? Yes, I'll wrap this up, I promise. Boop. The attitude on people, I swear. Alright everyone, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that you found it helpful or entertaining at least. Ooh, let me know your closet staples, I am extremely curious. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like this video and you want to keep seeing more of my content. I hope you guys have a lovely week. Bye.